What's up techies? How to create different kinds of lessons and iframes or embed lessons inside your courses on Techmatics. Hello, I'm Sarah Cordner and I am very pleased to tell you that you can create all kinds of different lessons inside your Techmatics account, including embedding iframes. That means adding in active pages, sites, quizzes, documents, forms, other videos from external sources directly inside your lessons so that to your students, it looks like that external source is within their lesson. Let's do some demos and show rather than tell. So if you're going to want to create an iframe lesson or an embed lesson or any lesson at all, first of all, you need to click on sites and courses, click on memberships and courses and go on over to products. And this is where you'll find the courses that you've created or go and create a new product over here. Do go and watch one of my other videos on how to actually create a course or a product. Now, assuming you have done that and you're now wanting to add a particular lesson, let's click into the course that you want to create a lesson for. Now, inside Techmatics, we have two sets of language. We have in your product structure, we have categories and we also have posts. Categories, if you're creating a big course, think of categories like modules and think of posts like lessons. And the reason why we haven't called them modules and lessons is because people don't just use their Techmanex accounts to sell courses, they sell all kinds of digital products and offerings. So let's say I wanted to create a new module for the sake of demonstration. I'm just gonna call this module two, for instance, press save. And you'll see down here how that literally creates a new module inside our product structure. Now inside this module, if I want to add a lesson, I'm going to press add a post and I'm going to call this um, embed lesson example. Obviously, you'd call this whatever your actual lesson title is and press save. Now you can change your lesson titles at any time. So I've now added the lesson in here. So let's go in it by clicking on the lesson and it will take us into the building area. Now this says select video, but you can actually upload any file you want, okay? It doesn't just have to be a video. Um, I can upload all kinds of files here. It could be images, but let's pretend that's the video I want to upload. I'm just gonna select it and it will upload now. Right, that's now uploaded. So we've not embedded any videos here yet. I just wanna show you what this looks like when you've just uploaded a video. So first of all, we're gonna press save and you do have to press published if you wanna preview this. It won't usually work unless it's published. It's really interesting on some browsers it does, but I recommend you just switch it to published. Click preview and you're just gonna see what this looks like to the student. So this is obviously just uploading an actual document or a file or a video lesson. Boom, there's the lesson showing there for the student. But what if you want to actually embed a lesson? Now, you guys may be using complex things like Articulate or um, other kind of uh, special documents or files that are hosted elsewhere. So how do you do that, right? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's what I'm gonna show you. I'm actually gonna remove this video for the time being um, so we can focus on embedding a a uh, particular lesson. So if you, for instance, let's pretend you have a Google form, you want to embed a form into a lesson to collect data or information. So, you know, um, I've got here an example of a, of a Google form. Let's pretend this is like an enrollment form. I know there may be all kinds of reasons you've got a form for your students, right? You may not want to send them outside of your course. So you're going to go to your Google form, for instance, and press send. Now, any kind of document, file, or thing that has an embed code can be iframed as a lesson inside Techmatics. So for instance, we're gonna click on this little code symbol here, and this is gonna give us the HTML embed code. Copy that code, then go on over to your memberships area, scroll into the lesson, the actual lesson itself, and where it says you've got this little code button here, click on that and paste in that code, press save, and it will embed that particular form. Now I'm gonna press save and show you what this looks like. And just gonna do a refresh. It's always important you do that or you'll see the old thing that was in there. And now let's go on over and press preview. So we're gonna click on preview and now this is what it will look like for the student. Just give that a second to load. And here we have this is the lesson title. There is our Google form inside the student's lesson. They can actually fill this form in and interact and engage on this form 
inside the lesson because it has been I framed in. So that's an example of how to do it with a Google form. What if, for instance, you've got a quiz in like Try Interact, for instance, let's go and delete this. Uh, so for instance, Try Interact is the quiz tool that I use. I find it really, really effective, really easy to use, and it has very complex quizzing functionalities and scoring. At the moment, we do have quiz features inside Techmatics, but I still find it's very basic um, at, at the moment. Uh, so at the moment, I am still using Try Interact for my particular quizzes. So let's pretend, for instance, I want to, uh, here's, a, here's a quiz I've created. You go to share and embed, open that up, and you'll see here you've got the embed code. You're just going to copy that code and exactly the same process. You go back to your lesson, you press the little body button, brings up your source code box, paste that in, press save, and that particular quiz is then going to be completely embedded inside the lesson in a way in which is going to allow the student to interact and take that quiz inside the lesson itself. Let's do a quick preview, show you what this looks like. And again, you can also do this with YouTube videos and any other, anything that you have the embed code for. So you see here now that inside the lesson, the student can literally now take that quiz from inside your course. They don't have to go to external platforms, which is amazing. Let's do another demo finally with a YouTube video. Let's say you have YouTube videos you don't want to, I know for whatever reason you've decided not to upload it to your Technatics account. Maybe it's somebody else's YouTube video that you're using as an example and you want to link out to some kind of public domain information that you want people to use without actually having to leave your course. All you're going to do is go to, for instance, that YouTube video, press share, and then click on the embed code button and boom, you now have that code. You're going to copy it, go on over to your course. I'm going to just delete that. Go to the source code, press paste, press save, and boom. Again, that YouTube video now will show up as your lesson content inside the lesson, meaning the students don't actually have to click a hyperlink and come out of your course and into YouTube. Boom, there is that YouTube video from YouTube playing inside your lesson. So there you go, Techmatics makes it really easy for you guys to create any different types of course content, uh, including iframes and embedding HTML. My dog's just barking to say hi in the background. <laughs> She's impressed too. All right, have fun, happy teching. If you've got any questions, do email us on support at techmatics.com. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. Happy teching.